Few other vehicles can match the excitement that comes with the cornering and acceleration of a motorcycle. Even a small one. The futuristic lines of this two-wheeler, the Monotracer E cabin motorcycle from Swiss company Paravis, offer all the swooping lean angles of conventional motorbikes, but with a number of big pluses. Paravis was set up by a pilot to build vehicles that combine the fun of motorcycles with the comfort of cars and the aerodynamic slipperiness of aircraft. From 1984 to 2005, it made nearly 100 Ecomobiles, an enclosed tandem two-seater with a BMW motorcycle drivetrain. Then, from 2007, it produced a Monotracer, with essentially the same mechanical underpinnings, but a restyled body. This is the third incarnation, an all-electric version that promises all of the thrills and a surprising amount of the practicality of the rapid and super safe petrol engine ones. It's based on the company's all-electric prototype that won an award for fuel efficiency in the $10 million X prizes in 2010. The electric vehicle is just better, it's simpler, it's uh, much more powerful, it has uh, twice the torque compared with the, uh, the, the IC one, it has just one gear, it's easier to ride, the top speed is far above and with the range of 250 kilometers, there's no range issue anymore with these vehicles. Top speed is not known, we expect it to be around uh, in excess of 300 uh, kilometers an hour. We limited that for uh, tires to 240 kilometers an hour, so 150 miles. The problem though is learning how to drive it. Just like on all bikes, whether big or small, to initiate a turn the driver must first push the bars in the wrong direction to make the machine lean. But the fact that you can't put your feet down means the Monotracer uses stabiliser wheels, deployed by a rider-controlled switch, to keep it upright when driving very slowly or at rest. Making that transition from right-way steering, with the stabilisers down, to motorcycle-style counter-steering is the part that is difficult to master. I'd previously got the hang of it when I took an Ecomobile around the Brno racetrack in the Czech Republic seven years ago. But to be on the safe side, I started out with this training frame, which would stop the machine falling over too far if I mess up the transition from four wheels to two. I'm enjoying being sheltered from the rain, and the technique soon comes back. Despite its bulk, the 82,000 euro Monotracer E has light, responsive steering. And plenty of power, there's the equivalent of 204 horsepower available. But the high points are corners, which the machine attacks with lithe pleasure. And being able to stay dry when the weather is miserable. Or staying cool with the optional air conditioner when it's too hot. The real world range is better than almost all electric cars, and charging is rapid. And there are other changes in the pipeline. For us, it's all about gearing up production and getting down the production costs. It doesn't have to weigh 550 kilos, it doesn't have to have 150 kilowatts. We see a market for, for a cabin motorcycle that's bigger than the car market. The company has also designed a smaller version, which could provide a clean, efficient and safe alternative in the mass two-wheeler markets of, for example, Southeast Asia. Pollution, noise and efficiency mean electric vehicles are, currently, the best bet for the future. The Monotracer addresses all of those issues, and more, because it also helps with the appalling overcrowding on the roads.